So we are going to open up Canva and then we are going to go to YouTube thumbnail. So the first thing we're going to do is change our background to green for the green screen. Go ahead and click on elements and then we are going to search up Kawaii. Scroll down until you find this adorable kawaii cat. Click the three dots and then click on view collection. When you are making these subscribe buttons, make sure the element has at least two to three of the same photos or the effect won't work. Next, go back into elements and then we are going to be searching up subscribe button. So I'm going to go ahead and change my subscribe button to match his paws. So you can change your subscribe button to any color that you want. It doesn't have to stay red. Now it is time to add our thumbs up. Go back into elements and search up thumbs up. Go back into elements again and then search up bell. We are going to group all the items together. How you would group the items together is by clicking on the item one by one and then pressing group. So this is where the effect comes in. You want to go to the bottom, click the three dots and click on duplicate page. Click the thumbs up and then we are going to go ahead and change this to a blue color. Go ahead and repeat the first step. Scroll down, duplicate the page. We are going to change the subscribe button to a gray color. We are gonna do the same for the bell, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna ungroup the items because we are going to change the bell to another photo. So go ahead and ungroup the items. Go to elements, and then you're gonna search up bell and then you are going to change it to this one. Go ahead and place this bell on top of the other one. You want to make sure they are lined up correctly and that both bells are the same size. Click on position and send this one to the back. Go ahead and delete the first bell. Change the bell color to yellow. Okay, so now it is time to add the effect transition. We are going to go back into elements and then we're going to search up kawaii again. Then you want to go ahead and click on the three dots and then go to view collection. We're going to go ahead, we're going to change this element to another one. So you can choose from any of the top three that you want to. You want to choose this one. Place it right on top of the first one. Then you want to go ahead and flip it horizontal. And then you're going to go ahead position position it and send it right to the back. Then you're going to go ahead and click the first one. And then we're going to delete that one. You want to make sure that your element is centered right in the middle. Because you want it to look clean when it transitions over to the next element. So it should look just like this. Okay, so we are all finished. So what you want to do is go ahead, save this. Go to save as, and then you want to save it as a MP4 video. If you made it this far in this video, please go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so open up the app CapCut and go ahead and open up your project.
Okay, so right now we are going to be doing some splits. So we're going to be splitting the clips up. So you want to split the clips up where the first transition stops and when the, the next transition begins. Okay, so you're gonna do this with every single clip. So right before it turns to the next color, or you can do it before it turns to the next color or after, I'll prefer to do it after. So after it turns gray, you wanna go ahead and split it. So for this one, you wanna go ahead, you wanna do it right before it transitions over to the part where he's smiling and the bell turns yellow, you wanna go ahead and split it before that. So you wanna go ahead and size it down to two seconds because you don't want it to be too long. Make sure to delete this black clip at the ending because you don't want to have that at the end of your green screen. Okay, so I did not add this in the video. Go back to Canva and download a picture of a mouse. Just go to elements, type in mouse, and then go ahead and then save that with a transparent background. Go to overlay and then you want to go ahead and add your mouse. This is where the effect comes in. If you want more details, I made a video explaining how to do this. I will leave that video above. So you want to click the diamond shape, then move your mouse off screen. Press the diamond shape and then move your mouse over to the thumbs up button. Next, move to the center of the next clip. You want to press the, the diamond shape and then leave your mouse where it is. Go to the ending of this clip and then you're going to go ahead and press the diamond shape and then you're going to move your mouse over to the subscribe button. You want to repeat this step for the notification bell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.